Hi everybody, it's me Leo. I'm back on YouTube. I know it's been it's been a minute. It's been a minute or two since I've done a video. I think about three, four weeks. So it's been a while. I've been extremely busy. I apologize for not being on here as much and, and not, you know, entertaining y'all, but I've been very busy, which is a, a great thing in my opinion. Okay. So let's get right to it. Today we are reviewing, we're doing a we're doing a review and I'm doing a star reading, so we're going to do two things today. I'm doing a review and a star reading of Tamar Braxton and Vincent Herbert. Okay. First, let me go into the review, the review of the show. Uh, we are now we're in the first season of Tamar and Vince. I'm pretty sure they're going to get the second one, I'm pretty sure. They may not, but we'll see. Um, but I think they will. Uh, we are on episode seven, I believe, of the show. The show thus far, in my opinion, is actually a really good show. I like it. I think the show is really good because it shows the dynamics of a true relationship. And I'm a firm believer, and I say this all the time, that any relationship worth wanting is a, is a relationship, is a relationship that takes work. And in this show, it shows that. They go through good times, bad times, ugly times. They go through everything together. And I think also what I like about it is that it shows Vincent Herbert and Tamar Braxton in different lives. That even though, yeah, they may quote unquote live the good life, they're real normal people. Um, I think Tamar Braxton, yeah, she's a bit extra. I personally like her because she reminds me a lot of myself. <laughs> This one hurt too, to a certain extent. I can see a lot of myself in Vincent, too. And I like him, too. I think he's actually a very sweet man, I think, beneath that. But I also think, deep down, there's a lot of deepness. There's 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 still parts of him that are yet to be uncovered. And I think she's the same way. Um, now, it is apparent to me that, and this is why I like the show thus far, is that it shows a different side of... Especially her, because if, you, if anybody has followed Tamar Braxton's career or followed her since Braxton Family Values, her being on the show, her being on that particular show, she comes off as being very larger than life, very overdramatic, very like, do what, pop, pop, you know, she's just very, you know, and forgive me for not looking my best today. I side note, I just had to go into that. I know I look like a rabbit ass mess, but hey, you love me, right? <laughs> so, anyway. But on this show, it shows a more gentle, more nurturing, more concerned side. It shows a wife. It shows a lover. It shows a friend. It shows all these different things. Whereas I think on the Braxton Family Values, it showed just her being a baby sister, her being the baby of the family, you know, and the one that wanted to just burst out and get all the attention. So that's why I like the show thus far, because it shows her in a different light. As we're going to see in this next, in this first clip that we're going to roll, because it definitely shows her being concerned and wanting the best for her and her husband. Take a look. This trip to London is a really big deal because this is Vince's first big trip since he's been in the hospital late last year. And flying that long distance is really risky for Vince. I'm just really grateful that the doctor gave him the green light. We're gonna have to get up and walk around every hour. Really? So you can't sleep? No, because you gotta walk and exercise oh, and circulate your blood. Oh, pumpkin. It's all good. Here's what it is. I'm just so excited about this national anthem. I know you're gonna be incredible. Thanks, Vince. I don't want you to not realize how much I love you. I understand, but I don't want you to run yourself crazy and run I'm yourself not... sick. It's not worth that. I'm not gonna do that, babe. Here, cheers. You can only have four sips, Vince. Okay, it's on. Okay. One. Hey, Mark. It's out. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as you can see with that clip, they were about to go to London. She was 
grateful that they could go, but at the same time, she was still kind of concerned about his health by kind of nagging him and telling him what he, you know, don't drink too much and blah, 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 which I felt was cute because that shows that she cares. Whereas I think for him, he views it as she's being a nag. When really, I don't feel that she's being a nag. She's just showing concern. That's just my personal opinion. Now, <laughs> what what clip of Tamar Braxton would be complete without this girl blowing the roof off with her beautiful voice? We all know this girl can sing. Yes, she may be bratty. Yes, she may be a little hot to handle. But girlfriend can blow. Take a look. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem of the United States. Please welcome the star of Braxton Family Values, an upcoming series, Tamar and Vince. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tamar Braxton. should risk it, but I have to think to myself, like, what would Mariah do? She'd go for that note. Now, you know, of course she can sing. We all know that, but I just had to throw it in there. Um, but maybe to some of you, she, but let me say this, because maybe to some of you, maybe she can't sing. Because you never know. Everybody, everybody hears things differently. And that's one thing that I've noticed since watching this show is that that's apparent to them, is that they, from what I'm, what I've seen, and that kind of leads me to my next little thing that I'm going with you in the show, is that they hear each other completely different. She may say red, he may say yellow. And I feel like with them, that's one of the reasons why people kind of doubt their relationship because they don't, they, they hear, they, they, they talk, but they don't listen to each other. And I think in any relationship, that's kind of normal. I hate to say it, but I think so. Uh, <laughs> I do. I think even in friendships, you kind of go through that because Prior to them being a married couple, they've only been married for three years. So prior to them being a married couple, they were friends for seven. So I think in friendship, there's a completely different level than it is in a marriage. I think it's a completely different thing. Um, and as you can see from the next clip that I'm about to roll, they don't listen to each other. But I think deep down... They do care, which is why their fights are so passionate. Take a look. Well, my health is everything, and it comes first. Definitely. So I wasn't trying to No, I know you. you didn't want to. No, but I mean, so you said that before in the past. I've heard you say that. Yeah, because when you got sick, I understood that things were going to change, and I was it's fine with that. I was fine with that, you know, because if that meant that you were going to be here and you're going to be well in intact. But you made comments about it, though, like... Because you have to deal with your relationship changing. If you're used but to... But our relationship didn't change. I just got sick like anybody else yeah, gets sick. Yeah, but what I'm saying, when you get when one gets sick in a relationship, the relationship does change a little bit. Like, we, nah, we wasn't jetting out it, here. It should just make people love each other even better. I mean, it's not about jetting and all that stuff doesn't make a relationship. That's not what I'm saying. Because when you get older... God, why you always miss it? I, no, you miss it because you just hear you. What's the name of that show? When somebody used to talk in the words, it used to be a ball that jump on top of I don't of know. I'm going to need that. I don't think you need that. I think you should just not so much focus on yourself in the relationship. Because you said, we can't do this, we can't do that, we can't do this. When actuality, 
you gotta do what you have to do when you're sick to get better. Exactly. So all those things you said were just lies. Because I couldn't what go. What are you talking about? I'm talking about when you said. If... I disagree that our lives have changed tremendously because we still do what we used to do. It's just. Not as I... much. Exactly. And not as often. But sometimes that's not bad. That's how I, I didn't say about that, but I, but I just want you to I understand. Didn't say, I didn't say you said nothing wrong, but that's how you feel. No, felt. no, nothing wrong. I didn't say that. I'm just saying we can't do the things that we used to do. That's it. But what do we can't do that we used to do? Nothing. I was just curious what you thought it was. Okay. Now, okay, here's my issue with Vince. Here's my issue with Vince. I, and I have issues with Tamar, too. Don't get it twisted. I have issues with her, too. You know what? Let me actually start on her. Because I think, really, Tamar, first of all, Tamar, honey, I think you need to stop trying not to rock the boat. Stop being so passive. I feel like there are times where you're very passive towards your husband. Not like you're afraid of him, because I don't think that's what it is, but it's almost like you're afraid to, when he shuts down, you shut down is what I what I get from you. I don't get that, you know. Or if you don't shut down, you act you act very devilicious. You become very extra, as people would say. So I think with you, you kind of need to learn how to come back. Like when he shuts down, you need to learn how to not go into your extra lane. That's just my personal opinion. Now with you, Mr. Vincent. How can I say this? Stop treating her like she is your opponent. She's actually your ally. That's your wife. Treat her like she's an equal. And we know you love her. I mean, the viewers can see that. But does she see it? Is my question to you. Now, as I'm going to show in this next clip, in my opinion, I felt Vincent was cool. Completely out of line. I understood you wanted to respect the person's privacy, but baby, come on. Really, boo boo? No, 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 no. You could have handled that better than yelling at her. Don't take out your issues on her. And once again, this shows that there's a communication barrier deep between them. Not only communication verbally, but emotionally, as you can see in the next clip. Take a look. Huh? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, so the pain came back. Oh my God. What's wrong? Okay. Yeah, please call me back and let me know what's going on. So now I will pick up. Vince got a call about one of his friends and I can tell it's super serious. And I don't know what to do because I don't know if I should try to get his mind off of it or if he really needs to talk. This is beautiful. This is really nice. So what happened? The time and place for everything. Don't you realize that yet? Is he okay though at least? Hey, yes. I really didn't want to talk about a personal call while we were on camera. The same reason I want to talk about it at this moment, because it was personal. <laughs> Are you worried? No, please talk about Oh, okay. I'm talking about something serious. You want to get attitude. I didn't say anything. Baby, you see how you get louder and louder? That's ignorant. That's not necessary, but that's what you like to do. Okay. I'm trying to be quiet Hi. about it. And you're loud about things. You don't know how to be. All you can do is breathe. If this is our first date, I would not be going out with you again because this is not how you treat a lady. You take her on a nice little bubble like this. Just thought I didn't put that out there. I don't understand it. He doesn't need to talk to me like this. I didn't do nothing wrong. I thought you was working on not shutting down. Not shutting down, avoiding environment. But only you know what's wrong, because... Yeah, yeah, now because I control, I'm talking about something that's personal. Okay, but the natural thing is for me to say, are you okay? 
no, you didn't say you're okay. I said, Tamar, calm down, be quiet about that. The guy, don't, you don't want to show everybody you need a doctor. That's fine, but, oh, but that's but not you, what you did. Well, you got an attitude. Been, okay. You I don't have an attitude. You did, but that's what you did. Your mouth started getting popping. All I said, are you okay? No, you didn't and say, are you okay? Are you nervous? No, you didn't say, are you okay? Are you okay? I didn't you, say you're nervous. You started popping off at your mouth. What did you pop off and say? What, what? What you talking about? I'm like, Tamar, just, can you please be quiet and, about And what I say then? You don't know what you say because your mouth's so smart. It's not necessary. It irritates somebody. I have not so said why, one thing. Tamar, you said a lot of smart I was making a joke about if you took me out on the first date, I would not go back but out with you. that's not even funny, though. Nobody want to say that. I'm telling because you about I'm something. sitting here and you all over there. But that has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you what happened to a friend of ours and you up here trying to be funny about It's not funny. It's not cute. Some things are private. Okay, what did I say? Don't worry. If you don't know what you said, don't worry about it. Sometimes I really feel like I can't win. Every time I say something, he takes it in the worst possible way. Ain't nothing finna be solved until you see yourself in the situation. It's always me. I have not even done anything. I have said nothing. I'm really trying to go home right now. Now, wasn't that a wonderful piece of passive aggressive theater? Because to me, that's what it was. In my opinion, he wasn't being passive with her, but he was being aggressive towards her because he didn't know how to handle, not that he didn't know how to handle what was going on, but he wanted to handle it privately. He wanted to just not talk about it. And the thing about Tamar that I can see is that Tamar is one of those women that's like, no, let's discuss this. We don't have to tell everything, but let's, let's get to the root of what the issue is. Which is smart. I mean, I, and Tamar, I give you props on that. That's very smart of you to want to go to the root of the, root of the issue rather than just kind of brush it along. So I think that's very smart. And I think that's helping Vince to be more open too. So golf clap for you on that golf clap. Okay. Um, now, in this next clip, they go to see their family therapist. Mr. Seven. Seven. Hi, Seven. They go to see Seven. And what I noticed from watching this is Vincent is one of those people that's like, well, we talk about it at home, so it's done. And I hate to break it to you, Vince, but that's not the way things work. I mean, trust me, as a person who's been on the couch, no, sir. You, I mean, you got to work it and work it and work it until you can't work it no more. Trust me. Um, and I think for her, she feels it hurts her because for in Tamar's case, it makes her feel not only let down, but it makes her feel used. Not I shouldn't say used, but it makes her feel alone. Um, and, and she even says that. So I will give them this. I think that it's great that they're working through their issues. And as you can see, that's one of the reasons why I like the show. That even though they live the glamorous life, there's still things to work through. Take a look and tell me what you think. The flight back to LA is long as hell. And after all we went through during this trip, I think it's best that we have another therapy session waiting on us when we get home. We definitely still have some things we need to work out in our marriage. Good to see you. Hey, Would you like you? to sit, Vince? I'm gonna sit right there. You sure? Yeah. Okay, great. Is this her messing with you sometimes? Like the, the having fun part? Uh, I guess that's what she called me. <laughs> what is that what you call it? I just call it Taylor. Okay. But there's three big things that I remember from all our conversations. And one of them is that when you talk to him about something important, sometimes he does things, behaviors that make you feel like he's disappeared or that he's not being respectful to you and he's not listening to you, even though he thinks he may be. It, it's painful for you. Yeah, it's gotten better since we talked about that. <laughs> all I mean, right. You all come right, so. here to progress, not to regress. So, well, no, but know. we haven't even begun to work on this yet. I'm Thank glad you. if it's better well, we for go you. Home and work all we did was mention it. We didn't go home and work on it? Okay, if you want to keep going on the alley, then I'm definitely disappearing. Coming up on Tamar and Vince. I feel alone. I feel alone. That's annoying and it's ridiculous when you do stuff like that because you're you feel alone. If you don't want to feel alone, don't do what you do to me. I won't have to shut down. You're my Monday, I'm a Friday. 
We didn't go home and work on it? Okay, if you want to keep going down the alley, then I'm definitely disappearing because that's not what I'm thinking when we All get right. home. All right, hold on a second. If you're saying things are different for you, that's, it is. that's your experience. Let me check in with her. Yes. I want you to tell him when he said what he said, how it made you feel, how it impacted you. When you said, oh, we really don't work on this at home, then you really, then I'm really going to shut down now. And how does that affect you? What do you want him to know about that? Why do you not like that? I want you to know that? That, that, to me, that it, it's disrespectful and it's disregarding how I feel because... You're going to be mad when you see this Vince, stop. Vince. What? Yeah. Okay, stop wow. there. Stop. So... What I heard you say is, and I want you to tell her what you thought. Don't add anything. Don't color it. But, don't. But I can't even do that because I didn't hear. You mean you weren't listening? I, no, I was listening, but it sounded like a whole bunch of like. Do you really? No, you, you really want her to repeat it because you didn't understand? No, it's like I, I don't. Uh, I don't I, understand I, I, because. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. I mean, I want you to be serious about this. This is your wife, and this is a moment. She actually is hurt. She's and if you don't hurt. take her seriously. Listen, don't go there yet. Yeah. Now tell her what I heard you say is, and I want you to repeat it back. You heard her. You say. just said it really pisses you off when you feel like, oh, so you're going to really feel it now when you get home. But, 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 you know, I heard what you said. Ask her, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Is that really yes, what you said? Did. So just what, say the part you miss? missed. That, that really hurt my feelings okay. because I felt disrespected and, dis and my feelings were disregarded. Okay. Just repeat that part back. I know this is robotic, but that's the point that she wants you to get. That your feelings were disappointed, I mean, disregarded and... No, you made me feel disrespected and disregarded. Just repeat that like you, Your feelings were hurt and it made you feel disrespected and disregarded. Yes, do you, do you see that we're slowing this down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, but we're, I, we're, the misunderstanding is still there and it's okay. not... Okay, then why don't you take your turn now? Let's well, just do this for a little okay, bit. Okay, I wasn't talking about, in general, I was talking about that one specific thing, which was the shutdown thing. But in every other place, yes, we've been definitely trying to communicate more. But the shutdown thing is very real. Tell her what you heard her say. We're going to slow this way down. I heard her say that the frustrating thing is really, really real. And everything else, yeah, we've been practicing it. But the shutdown thing is it's really, really real. That's what she said. What you just said in the very, very end, when you kind of said really, 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 it's it's kind of like an attitude a little bit. Well, that was, I was repeating what on. she said. Just hold on. It comes across as mimicking her attitude, and I watch both of you do this to each other, and let me tell you something, it hurts. We're both trying to make a point, and I think what we don't do is stop and hear the other ones. We're getting better at it. I'm going with that. If you don't think that's the truth... We're getting better at it. We are. You don't think that's the truth? Well, you know, it's a little discrepancies in there, but that's okay. We're just going to let that slide. I'm going to be quiet before I get up and walk away. See? That's what I'm talking about. Because you you just you, you like to stay in the negative, not me. I'm not standing in the negative, but you're right. We are trying to get better. It's a relationship. I think the point of the spirit of what she was trying to say is that honey... Well, honey never came out, Seven. Yeah. So that wasn't, that wasn't... It's a paraphrase. Yeah, I know, but I'm anyway, just saying, that never came out. No, it didn't. Because that would have been a different way of taking it. If something isn't going good, something that you guys are working on, and it's not going the way you wanted to, will you bring that up to him? No, because I don't feel like that's safe. Ah. Let me ask you this. Would you do it here? Man. No, because it doesn't matter where I, where I do it. He doesn't like it. So what do you really need from him? I'm going to need you not to disappear. Well, what's that look like? Because he doesn't actually believe that he like does. It looks like the way you're doing that. You want me to take a picture so you can see it? I feel alone. I feel alone. That's annoying and it's ridiculous when you do stuff like that because you're talking about you feel alone. If you don't want to feel alone, don't do what you do to me. I won't have to shut down. So, I feel like the relationship, you know, does the relationship have a chance? Yes, I think it does. Um... Do they love each other? I think they do. I think deep down they do. But you also have two people who, there's like a balance of power here too. And you can see that a little bit. Now, what does the future hold for them? We shall see. In case you wonder how I feel about you, baby. Okay. Um... In regards to this relationship and what I see for both of you, I definitely feel like within your work, things are about to amp up. You think you guys are busy now? You're going to be even busier, uh, especially with, I want to say, like, 
the second half of the new year over the next two months. I feel like you guys are going to be even busier. I keep getting kids around you. One of you really wants children. If not now, soon. Um, and I would also say for you, especially when it comes to putting out the music, Tamar, this is more so for you. Putting out the music, take your time. Be very selective of the singles and the perfectionism, per perfectionism that you show in the studio, keep it. You know, keep that. Um, because I feel like your album is actually going to do, do very well, believe it or not. Um, better than what you've hoped. And you may do a tour, but I feel like it may not be over here. It may be, like, over in Europe and things like that. You may be kind of more international than you would be. Because I feel like there's going to be a big push for you. Um along with the show. Uh let's see. In terms of the relationship though, I definitely feel like things are definitely gonna end up opening up a lot more, especially emotionally, especially when it comes to Vince. I feel like Vincent, you're you're definitely you've opened up a lot more and you're starting to. Um and you're also starting to admit that yes you're wrong, that yes you have your issues. I mean <laughs> I think you've always admitted it, but I think more so now you're becoming more content with admitting, yeah, I have my problems too. So I do think you guys are going to move forward, and I keep getting kids around y'all. Um, two, maybe three. And I would also say a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing from y'all, it's going to happen within three to four years' time. It'll, it'll, it'll take some time, but I feel like everything that you're going through, you're, you're in the right um you're on the right path, and I would definitely say for you, don't confuse indecisiveness with, with making the wrong decision, because you're not, okay? And actually, kind of looking over your decisions that you make, either within your careers or within your relationship, within your marriage, that's actually going to be a good thing, because that'll help to uncover uh, not only people, but things around you that are not good for either one of you, so... Okay, so that is my take on Vincent Herbert and Tamar Braxton. If you agree with me on my assessment of the show, please leave a comment. If you don't agree with me, please leave a comment. Do you think that their relationship is worth it? Do you think that they can last? Um, I know a lot of people think that Tamar married him for money. Mm, I don't think that's true, quite frankly. I mean, they're, I mean, now don't get me wrong. I think she's happy with the fact that she does have that lifestyle. But I don't think she's in it just for the money. I think she truly does care for him. I think he cares for her too. So, you know, but what do you think? I mean, it's not really about me. What do you think? So, do you think that, that he and her can make it or do you not? Leave your comments, post your thoughts, follow me on Twitter, follow Tamar on Twitter. Um, I tried to find Vincent's, Tamar, Vincent's Twitter, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. And, yeah, like me on Facebook, um, and I'll be back. So, talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye-bye. Bitch, you just got red.